Ten million, one hundred million. It makes no difference. No part of this monastery should be for sale. I believe we're all in agreement, are we not, Brother Rupe? Yes. We are here to do the work of God, not speculate in real estate. Brother Lacroix, I believe if we were to pose the question to our beloved founder, the answer would be swift. We could do a lot of good with the money we would make if we sold this monastery. However, Abbot Capilano, I will support whatever decision you make. The decision, then, is unanimous. Meeting adjourned. Did you get a load of this oracle of death? Who's that? This monk. He claims to be able to predict uh, people's deaths. That's ridiculous. Not for people lying in the ground, it ain't. No, no, he's already predicted a fire, um, uh, an airplane crash, and the deaths of eight people. Nobody can predict the future. How can you predict that? <laughs> yeah, and how do you explain Nostradamus, young lady? Yeah. Who? Nostradamus. Nostradamus is a good one. I don't care. He's a French astrologer, 16th century. He predicted events that happened hundreds of years after he died. Now, a lot of people thought he was crazy. He was a little. But uh, in the course of time, he was proven right. Did he know that? Hmm? I mean, was he able to predict that he would be proven right? Mind games? <laughs> All of it. Tarot cards, astrology, fortune cookies. People believe what they want to believe. Well, then, explain the oracle of death, huh? Go ahead, I dare Simple. you. Simple, it's a hoax. Uh -huh. A hoax with 100% accuracy? You expect me to believe the hallucinations of some monk? I don't expect you to believe anything. Oh, my goodness, no. A pen. What? He's using a quill pen. A pen? Uh, don't most monks use quill pens? I mean, uh, the ballpoint seems to be a lot of place. How would you know? All my monk friends use quill pens. But not that particular pen. I picked that one up in Tierra del Fuego. It's made from a tail feather from a giant Chilean condor. They're the worst kind. Well, Lewis loved that. He said he got a handsome price for it, too. Pens, 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 pens. But, ah, here we are. Quill pen set in silver. Number 46295. Sold to one Rupert Selden. But how did it get to Brother Curry? Does it really matter? I mean, at least we know where it is and we can get it back. I'm afraid it may not be that simple. I knew he was going to say that. This eternal brotherhood uh, monastery, it's, a, it's like a fortress in the center of the city. And it's a cloistered order, so there are no telephones and no visitors, <laughs> no anything. Uh, no, it's completely incommunicado. The visitor part, now that I can handle. I, I can draw up an official... A letter of introduction that'll fool the Pope. However, that'll only cover one of you. Why is that? Well, a brotherhood's a brotherhood. It's not a sisterhood. It's not even a personhood. Are you trying to tell me in this day and age they don't allow women in even to visit? 
Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Well, I guess that lets me out. <laughs> someday, Ryan. I don't know when. I don't know how. But someday, I'm going to... That's not what I was going to say. Oh, hey, hey, you don't have to put on your robe just yet. Yes, I do. I look terrible. No, no, you don't. You're the cutest boy I've ever seen. The best built, too. Keep your hands off me. Look at me. It's nice to know this is the worst it gets. That should just about do it. Ah, oh, it's good to have a few sheets of 14th century parchment lying around. You never know when they're going to come in handy. Now, from this point on, you two are brothers Matthew and Simon. You're transferring from a monastery in the north of England in Yorkshire. Wuthering Heights country. No one informed us of your visit, brother. The letter should be pretty self-explanatory. Is, is there a problem? No, no, not at all. Allow me to show you to your quarters. Wait. Our serenity has been greatly reduced by the events of recent days. Abbot Capilano fell to his death from the bell tower just yesterday. So we heard. Tragic accident. We're still waiting to see who the new abbot will be. You must be tired from your journey, Brother Simon. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid Brother Simon has taken a, um, a vow of silence. Ah, wonderful. We're extremely interested in Brother Curry. Uh, who Fascinated is by his predictions. Who is it? Um... Did he predict the abbot's death? I'm afraid so. You know, we were hoping to get to meet him, possibly have an audience. I'm afraid that's impossible, Brother Curry. He's in seclusion. This will be just fine. So, where's Brother Simon's room? As you can well imagine, space is cramped. We didn't think you'd mind sharing. No, no, we don't mind. Um, just one more thing. Where are the... Where's the, uh, lavatory? Ah, yes, the communal bathroom and showers are just down the corridor. Communal? Yes. Now, if there's anything else, please let me know. Yes, I will. Thank you. Evening meditation is at six. Thanks. You've been very generous. Generous? Shh. Generous? One room? What can I say? They think you're one of the boys. And if you think I'm taking a communal shower, you've got another think coming. One can hope, can't one? All right, all right. We're not going to be here that long. We're just going to find Brother Curry, grab the pen, zip out of here. And what about the bathroom? Can you hold it? Well, it could have been worse. How? Could have only been one bit. <laughs> Questions about Brother Curry. I am saddened to see our own brethren fall prey to such morbid curiosity. You sure they aren't journalists? Wouldn't hurt to keep an eye on them. The last thing we want now is any more controversy. Curry in his pen and get the hell out of here. It's 
Excuse me. How do you plan on doing that? He's cloistered in deep seclusion. Man's got to eat, hasn't he? Check this out. This is where they discovered that heads will roll. Brother Curry, your tray's here. Brother Curry, can I talk to you for a second? Now, don't be afraid. We're from the Yorkshire Monastery. We want to talk to you about your pen. No, no, the quill pen. We know all about it. Great <laughs> oh. Brother Curry won't be able to be of much help. You see, like Brother Simon, he too has taken a vow of silence. Now, if you'll allow me to escort you back to your quarters. Sorry for the disturbance, Brother Curry. Sweet morning meditation. Once you've finished all of this, I want you to move over to the vineyards. Best you can. We're going to have to figure out another way to get to Brother Curry. Please get in this room. Brother, 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 brother. Hey, hey, what's going on? The Oracle of Geth has made another pronouncement. What is it this time? The abbot is going to die today. He is going to choke to death. That's impossible. You don't even have an abbot. He died two days ago from the fall. No, no, this prediction isn't going to fly. Good point. Perhaps then our concern has been misplaced. <laughs> oh, brethren, uh, brethren. Maybe when it's dark and the lights are out, Come in. Go.
Good night, Abbot Arupe. He just been named Abbott. I would like to thank you for your efforts in trying to save Brother Arupe. We did what we could. Who are you, really? Exactly who we say we are. I mean, I'm an American. I went to Europe and um, joined the Brotherhood there. I met Brother Simon two years ago. Then why is it you were found sneaking around looking for Brother Curry the other evening? Brother Lacroix, we just wanted to see him in person. That will be quite impossible. Brother Curry is a troubled man. His gift is his burden and his agony, and he'd just as soon be left alone with it. That's why he's in seclusion. In future, you will keep your mind on your devotions. How in the world did I get myself in this mess? All I wanted was to get married and settle down. I didn't want the store. I didn't want those antiques. I didn't want any of this. Mickey, 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 come on now. Tell me this whole thing hasn't been a blast. This whole thing hasn't been a blast. Take your time, think it over. OK, you want to go back to Leonard? Be my guest. Roy! Just remember that if we don't get back those antiques, nobody else is going to do it. It's up to us, because nobody else is going to do it. Nobody's gonna believe us. I mean, it's not like we can go up to the cops and say, excuse me, officer, but we got these antiques out here we gotta get back because they're cursed. No, uh-uh. Off to the funny farm we go. Well, I'm sorry, but sometimes when I find myself locked in a cell, in a monastery, pretending to be a boy, tracking shh, down a cursed quill pen, shh. the funny farm sounds preferable. Like you to meet Brother Jack. He's a transfer, just like you. Oh, Brother Jack, where from? Uh, the Emerald Oil, my boy, oh, Ireland itself. Uh, I think that's a fine looking crop of burgundy grapes you got there. Oh, I predict you're going to have a, a vintage year. Not that we know an awful lot about it where I come from. You know, we prefer something that uh, put a little more hair on your chest and take the lighting out of your throat. <laughs> I'll leave you to it, Brother. Ah, Jack. thank you. Bless your brother. Uh, you're a darling man. Darling, where's Brother Simon? Honoring his nose. Hey. Ah. What? What are you doing here? I did a little research. I got photos of the pen from a collector I know in Khartoum. And? And uh, I figured you'll never be able to sneak it out unless they never missed it in the first place. So I made a duplicate, an exact copy. You may have noticed I'm a very resourceful person. What? Are you afraid of a little teeny, teeny bit of spider? Brian, stop that! Shh. Shh, 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 shh. You're out of silence. I also checked up on the original owner, the first man who bought the pen, Rupert Selden. He disappeared for quite a while, and with good reason. He's wanted for the murder of his business partner. Rupert! 
Those brothers from Yorkshire, they know about the pen. Do they? Then we will have to write up another epitaph. No! We must stop. Too many innocent people have died already. Don't disappoint me, Frank. We made a deal. If it wasn't for me, you'd be behind bars right now. This is better than jail. Cooped up here, day in, day out. No one to talk to. Knowing that every time you write in that diary, someone else is going to die. You can't keep torturing me like this. <laughs> I wouldn't call splitting a half-million-dollar advance in the Oracle's life story exactly torture. I don't care about the money anymore. But I care about the money. I need you, Frank, to take credit for what I write. I can't afford to be seen. You're despicable. We're both despicable. But now that I'm Abbott, I can sell this place and we can pocket 10 million bucks. It's over, Rupert. I'm leaving. You will do what I tell you to do. Like always. Like hell I will. The Oracle of Death has made his last prediction. Some of God's chosen ones are such is the case with Brother Curry, who will decide his only recourse is to join the Holy Spirit in a most gruesome way. That's one prediction I'll bet he didn't make. Oh. But he did. Oh, tragic, isn't it? I came as soon as I found this, but too late. Brother Curry lived a life of quiet desperation. He just couldn't stand it anymore. Suicide, though? Felt sorts. Evidently, his gift for predicting horrendous events was a cross too heavy to bear. The oracle of death is no more. Sleep with the angels, brother. Poor Curry. I guess that means that's the end of it. No. We still have to find the pen. I'm scared. Oh, yeah? You're scared? Terrified. God created creatures, both great and small. And sometimes small ones have the power to triumph over larger ones. Such will be the unfortunate fate of 
are brothers Matthew and Simon from Yorkshire. Jack! What a cute little ferrofacid. Oh, relax. He's not poisonous. It's only the South American Tinead that can kill. That's it. I really can't take this anymore. I gotta get out of here. No more elastic around the chest, no more brown rice, no more dead bodies, no more tarantulas. I understand exactly how you feel, young lady, but you must know that retrieving these antiques is not going to be easy. Yeah. There'll always be an element of danger involved, which is why I'm here. I have no idea of the depth of his despair. But at least the Oracle of Death will be silent forevermore. Don't be so hasty. Brother Curry left behind a number of predictions, which I have no doubt will unfold in the fullness of time. Uh, the Laquasa thing wrong? No. Good morning, brothers. Uh, I hope Brother Curry's death did not rob you of your sleep. Fortunately not. Uh, were there any other interruptions? Some of the other monks have been complaining of pests. Rodents and the like? Not for the lack of rodents. I'm relieved to hear it. I think Brother Lacroix was just on a fishing expedition. That tarantula was no accident. You were supposed to die. Well, not that I'm complaining, but how come we didn't? Because you're not who you are. Want to run that by me again? Well, you're not really Brothers Matthew and Simon. So, when the curse of death was put on you, it wasn't really put on you. It was put on brothers Matthew and Simon. And, uh, what shall we do about the reporters at the front gate? They've been waiting there since dawn to hear a, a statement about Brother Curry's death. Why don't you meet with them? Me? But, but you're the new abbot. You knew him best. You should speak on his behalf. And while you're about it, send a telegram to the Home Office in Yorkshire. What about? Find out if they did indeed send two representatives to visit us. And wait for the reply. I have reason to believe that brothers Matthew and Simon are not who they claim to be. I think maybe we're barking up the wrong brother here, searching the wrong room. What are you saying? Brother Curry didn't kill himself. There was no diary on his desk. We would have seen it when we were looking for the pen. Drake's been on our tail ever since we got here. It's going to be tough for us to search Lacroix's room. For you, maybe. Not for me. We need some answers. Please! What happened exactly? What happened? Please! How did he die? This foul play suspected in the death of the Oracle. We have a prepared statement. Brother Curry was a man loved by all here at the Brotherhood. His gift of predicting the future. Did he predict his own death? Yeah. His gift became his torture. And to our everlasting sorrow, he chose to take his own life. Isn't suicide considered a mortal sin? He chose to take his own life rather than suffer any longer. And our prayers go with him. All our prayers go with him. That's it. That's all. That's all you're going to tell us. Come on, we need your answers. I'm not authorized to give you anything but this prepared statement. I'm sorry, I can't answer your question. Why is that a doing this? If you had something to hide, you'd keep a little profile, too.
Rupert Selden's signature on this bill of sale matches the writing in the diary exactly. So Rupert Selden and Brother Lacroix are one and the same. What about the bed? I couldn't find it. Somebody was coming. But it's more than likely there, too. I'll just have to go back and try again. The best time to do it is during meditation. Lacroix is busy for an hour. Wait to be a female again. Mickey, I can't stand guard out here forever, all right? We hurry it up already. Come on. Brother Croix, all right. The real Brother Matthew and Brother Simon never left the monastery. Something else very odd. The real brothers Matthew and Simon were bitten by a poisonous tarantula last night and died. There's another thing you should know about Brother Simon. He's a she. He's a she? I'll have them removed from the premises immediately. No. I want you to act as if nothing has changed. Should we at least question them? God works in mysterious ways, his wonders to perform. I would appreciate if you would start the meditation without me. Certainly. Hope Jack's out of that office by now. Brothers? Didn't a little mouse come scuttering in here? Now, we've got to get him, otherwise he'll be nibbling away at your books and papers. Ah, sure, you wouldn't need a thing like that for a little mouse. But I have already set a trap. I thought you were meditating. But I am. Premeditating. <laughs> I'm sorry we couldn't conclude our business upstairs. <laughs> Brother, but I'm terribly late for a meeting. It wouldn't have anything to do with real estate, would it, Selden? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, we were right. You have the pen. Yes, I do. But only you and your young friends know about it. Oh. oh. thoughtless of me not to leave you a little... Light. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? To look for the pen. You go find Jack. Psst. You got the fake one? Take care. My principals were delighted that your brotherhood agreed to uh, reconsider their offer. We are a humble order, Mr. Green. Why would we put ourselves and the enjoyment of this place before the needs of the thousands who will be served by your luxury hotel condominium complex. Uh, if we should reach an agreement on this, do you foresee any problems with closing the deal? None that can't be eliminated. As you'll see, we very generously agreed to pay out the Brotherhood over a five-year period rather than ten, and we'll pick up the closing costs. And as a special sweetener, if the deal is clean, I'd be willing to reduce my commission to... 10%. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Normally, the commission on a deal this size is 3.5%. Let's not play games, Mr. Green. Forget the graduated payout. I want 15.2 million cash. 
and a commission agreement of two and a half percent. Take it or leave it. Well, I must say you drive a hard bargain, Abbott Lacroix. Abbott Lacroix. That's such a nice ring to it. Now, I have some other serious business to attend to that I've left off for far too long. Uh, listen. Complain. We've got to go after Lacroix. He's gone for the pen. Oh, Jack, thank God it's you. Ryan, I found the pen. Then I figured I'd go look for Jack. And then you I just... found the pen? Yes, it was in Lacroix's room, just as you thought. I swapped it with the fake. Ricky, <laughs> baby, oh, baby. I can't wait to get out of here. I wouldn't make travel plans just yet. Thank you for informing me about the switch. Sister Simon. Or should I say, Mickey? Hand it over. I would have preserved your epitaphs in a more dignified way, but someone rudely stole my diary. Ah, this will do nicely. The imposters came to the monastery posing as monks to meet certain death. I will be happy to change this to include you as well, Brother Drake. You're gonna burn in hell, you traitor! Put that down! They came to remove the sacred pen from its rightful owner. But tragedy will strike, and this will not be accomplished. Now, all I have to do is fill in your names. You should never 
never write what you've already signed. Rupert. Stop. Your name on the original invoice, remember? Imagine being able to wish for something to happen, and with a stroke of a pen, it does. I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. The pen can only make evil predictions come true. Woo! So good to be a girl again. No, I wanted some food. If I never see brown rice again, it'll be too soon. <laughs> Aren't you going to put that in the vault? Oh, that's not the real pen. I'm just keeping this copy as a souvenir. Well, how do you know it's the right one? A true artist always knows his own handiwork, my dear. So you're really sure? Of course, I'm positive. Only one way to find out. Hmm. Lunch. Let's order something really sinful. 